everybody and welcome back to my channel Discoveries Itself. My name is Natalie. Uh, if you are a newbie to the channel, hello and welcome. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, thank you for coming back. Now today's video is about this hair colour. I did promise you guys I was going to come back and let you know about how I got this hair colour. All the details about this hair, which by the way is the bomb. Um, and all that jazz. So I'm here to do that video now. Please bear with me if it seems like my energy is a little bit different. I went on holiday and I came back yesterday. Um, and I'm still a little bit out of it. My, uh, my flight back was disgusting. It was just horrible and I'm pretty sure I must have caught something or I don't know something wasn't right about that flight. So I'm just not I think I'm still recovering from it. Um, it, it was mad, but yeah, I'm still recovering from it and I've still got a little bit of jet lag. So um, if I'm not my usual self, I really do apologize. I try and be as energetic as I can be. Um, and also I did try to film the coloring process because I know it's so helpful to watch how people color their hair. Um, so I did try and film bits and pieces. And then I went to film my previous video, which is my makeup's favorites video. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave it in the cards. I think the cards come on this side. Um, and I stupidly deleted all the footage. So I'm so, so mad at myself for doing that because I wanted to show you guys what the hair looked like before it was colored um, and how I did the process, but I, I just don't have it. And I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so mad at myself for doing that, but I'm gonna try and explain as much as possible. So if you wanna know how I got this hair color, please stay tuned. Okay, so this hair is from her hair company I've never worked with her hair company before um, I've never experienced any of their hair if you guys are um, regulars for my channel you know I only really review Aliexpress hair so her hair company was a whole new world of hair quality to me and they sent me three bundles of hair and a closure so I got a 24 a 22 a 20 and a 14 inch closure and the great thing about this hair is probably why it looks so vibrant is it's 613 hair this is my first ever time trying 613 hair but I know I knew that I wanted to have like orangey ginger hair uh, I use Rihanna as my inspiration I'll try and leave a picture in the video somewhere here of the sort of hair that Rihanna had because when she had gingery coppery hair it looks so bomb on her it looks amazing so that was what I was going for um let me just speak about the hair itself because we need to take some time for the hair so the hair 613 hair this hair is beautiful. It's the Eurasian Straight 613 um, hair, and it is beautiful. It is by far the best hair I have ever tried. Hands down. It is so silky, but it has a little bit of weight to it. But that weight means, I don't know, that, that weight just gives it a little bit more movement and texture. I find sometimes when hair is too fluffy and too light, it tends to get frizzy quite quickly but this hair is so beautiful I mean I haven't done anything to this hair all I did was straighten it a little bit so I could get it bone straight and straightening it takes all of like five minutes there's nothing you need to do to it I've not put any products in this hair at all at all this is the natural hair the only thing that's in this hair is obviously the dye um, but this hair is incredible the longest length is the 24 this is the longest 24 inches I have ever experienced in my life. Even when I was putting it on, I was like, there is no way this is the 24. This has to be like a 26. Um, but this hair is so long. Like, I'll try and stand up so you guys can see, but um, I'm not going to be able to fit my whole self in this picture, I'm afraid. But yeah, this hair is just so long. I can't get over how long it is. I haven't cut the ends or cut anything, actually, um, with this wig. I haven't cut anything. So the ends did come blunt, but the ends were really good, really pretty. But they did come bluntly cut. So if you don't like blunt cuts, uh, you do need to, you know get it feathered out or feather it with some shearing scissors so that it looks a little bit more natural but I don't mind this blunt cut at all it's not off-putting it doesn't look bad so I would 100% recommend this hair especially if you're looking for um, a vibrant color if you want to go vibrant you want to go blue red pink this hair hands down is the hair that you want especially it being 613 hair and also if you want to go blonde I mean this is beautiful hair I really want to Get more of this hair so I can see how it looks once it's toned because um, it is a platinum blonde so it has sort of an icy yellow tint but then if you tone it you get this really natural blonde look which I really want to do with this hair so maybe next time I'll, I'll get a few more bundles and go 
uh, blonde and see how that works but this hair is absolutely gorgeous but you guys obviously want to know how I got the hair so let's start with how I got this hair and what hair colors I used um so basically I used adore hair colors for this so I didn't bleach anything I just used adore hair colors and I used a couple I need to shout out Aaliyah's face I believe that's her name on YouTube because I actually got the idea of this hair color from one of her videos um, and I liked how it looked um, she was the one that came close to the colors that I wanted and I liked the effect so I just went by her video and I'll leave the link to the video down below if you guys want to see so let's start with the roots now I am a big believer in having roots for your hair I don't care what color it is I just cannot vibe with hair without roots I feel like roots are so important they can make or break a wig so um, with the roots I use the adore extra conditioning semi-permanent color in light red brown now this was in my um, black hair shop and I think it was like two pound and some change it was cheaper than the main adore colors uh, but the light red brown is this tint that you see here so when you see this sort of darker tint that's the light red brown and I just applied that to the closure um, just so I can get that darker color you just use it like any other adore semi-permanent color so I applied that to the closure when I um, wore the wig it looked off it still looked off the roots weren't dark enough so what I did was if you see this dark patch here that's just black eyeshadow it didn't look right to me so I just added a little bit of black eyeshadow around the parting and then it transformed the wig completely if I just left it with the light red brown because it wasn't dark enough it just didn't look right so that's a little tip if you don't want to go out and buy stuff and you know you feel like the roots are d deep enough just take a little bit of black eyeshadow matte black eyeshadow and just lightly apply that around the uh, parting and you're good to go you don't need to apply it everywhere just around the parting for everything else it's just fairly simple and when I color I am so messy there is no rhyme or reason to how I color hair I think I start off trying to be neat and then halfway through I'm like oh I want some low lights I want some highlights I want some dimension and I just apply color everywhere so I actually did apply this color to bits of the hair I'll try and do a close-up of the hair so you can see the colorways through it um, but I did apply this messily to bits of the head uh, towards the end and I think it came out all right so yeah this is the roots and a tiny bit on the hair itself now for the main color basically I used uh, three bottles of French cognac so French cognac is this beautiful um, orange color that you see this is the French cognac so I just applied this two and three quarter bottles of uh, French cognac to the main length of the hair so the main color this um, color you see here is French cognac so I use three bottles of French cognac and I don't know, I want to say one and a half bottles of ginger now ginger is such a gorgeous color because it is a yellow but it just works so well with French cognac so I used uh, ginger towards the ends and then I started putting on strands because I wanted that multi-dimensional color like I said I just didn't want one flat color I love hair when it has different colors and different low lights and highlights and sometimes it's hard to get low lights and highlights with uh, semi-permanent dyes so um, I used just ginger which is a yellow color can you see this yellow bit of hair here that's ginger when it's just placed on a there you go that's ginger there so when it's just placed on like um, a strand of hair it comes up this color and that's it basically super simple um, I just applied the color I left it on the hair for I want to say maybe an hour maybe an hour an hour and a half washed it out let it air dry and then when I was done I just um, straightened the hair and that's it. Really quick video on how I did this hair colour. I'm going to stop filming now because I am getting seriously hot flushes. I am so hot and I'm pretty sure I'm sick and oh my god I'm just I'm all over the place so yeah I'm going to leave everything that you need to know in the description bar below as well as links to the hair hair company site for this gorgeous Eurasian straight 613 hair it's the bomb it's the bomb so uh, thank you so much hair hair company for sending these bundles my way and thank you to adore hair for making bomb ass affordable colors because 
Come on now, you can do this at home. Don't pay no one to do your stuff for you. Believe in yourself, you can do this at home, girl. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will leave everything that you need to know in the description bar below. Um, and yeah, that's it. So if you have any questions or anything I've missed out, leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you very soon. Bye.